time to begin our five o'clock afternoon meeting. This time I'll turn it over to Mr. Fisher. Hello, oh, thank you, Mayor, members of City Council. I'd like to just introduce uh, Pete. He's got an update, overview of the Monroe Center Theater and conversations that uh, he and Blue Brian had uh, this past week and um, the week before on the topic that the board brought up by the last meeting. Thank you, Larry. Mayor Council. Um, over the last couple of meetings, we've had some discussions about uh, allocating funds to the Senate Theater. And just wanted to give you a brief recap and we'll let you know where we are with the theater as well as what the potential of having those funds would do for us. So basically, we all know what the, the, the theater looks like. It's uh, pretty ragged, pretty not in great shape. That's an older picture. The facade has been painted. But we want to make it more like this. This was a, either an art walk or a cruise in in the evening. You see some vibrancy. You see some, uh, some life in our downtown after dark, which is, which is sorely needed. Brief history, built in the 30s, uh, shut down in 1991. The Tourism Development Authority actually expended the funds to pay for it and shore it up two years ago, as well as buying the adjacent building for about $550,000. We have since partnered with the nonprofit group to raise money. We've entered into a lease with them, and uh, we're in the process of, of sitting on that board. Brian and I sit on that board to raise the money for the development of it. Again, tourism has looked at this project, and I'm sure you all are well aware of the ramifications of it. You know, we're, we anticipate a increased hotel occupancy, increased downtown restaurant and retail, uh, downtown development, just a, a great quality of life and, and everything that goes along with it that you can imagine. And again, currently we do have a lease agreement with this downtown board or this de development board where Brian and myself also sit as members. Uh, we're in the process of getting a feasibility and operational plan study done. Uh, TDA is paying the bulk of that, uh, allocating as much as 62000 with the Center Theater Development Group contributing eight. I guess we were asked uh, if the city does allocate additional funds, does that change things, um, and is the group amenable to that? So Brian and I met with the, the, the members of the board and they were very excited, very open to working with us in any way, shape, or form to get that $3 million, obviously. Um, we're exploring different ways to make that happen. If any money does come from the city, we will <coughs> control how that money gets spent. Uh, yeah, that money don't go to anybody. Right. We would not take that $3 million and no. give it to the Center no. Theater Development Group. We don't want that, and honestly, they don't want that either. They don't want to have that responsibility or burden, uh, but we would use that to, uh, we would use that to leverage against other grants, other fundraising opportunities to hopefully fulfill the full maximum of the project, which could be as much as $7 million for the total renovation. Um, as you can see, you know, theater development is a, is a trend. Anson County, Shelby, Durham, Rock Hill, Henderson, Rocky Mount, so many towns have, have redone and redeveloped their theaters, and many more in North Carolina, South Carolina have done uh, feasibility studies on performing arts and visual arts. They seem to be doing well in these other cities. Is that what you hear, Pete? Yes and no. I mean, they're, it, it depends how they're managed. Um, most of the theaters don't pay for themselves based solely on the performers. They do other fundraisers and, and rely on contributors. But it, it's the residuals that we'd be looking at, the economic boost from the tourism, uh, the retail in downtown, and the other development that hopefully it would uh, spur on. So, you know, Way back when, we looked at others, more specifically the Don Gibson down in Shelby, very similar, uh, and what we've been looking at, at as a model. Uh, they built theirs for about 3 point something million, 3.4 million, but it wasn't in as bad a shape as ours, and it was a little easier uh, to build. There wasn't as much demo and redevelopment. We've also looked at uh, theaters up in Salisbury, the Norval, and uh, Moroni. So, you know, it's, it's something that we're looking at as a city, 
or tourism's been looking at for the past probably five years, and we've been very active with the Center Theater Group and with the city for the past couple of years. So any any influx of money on the city side, would we would hope to leverage to double or at least uh, you know look for matching grants and and contributors. Did we ever get the drawing from the architect that we supposed to handle, you know, two or three we, weeks ago, yes, then in a day or two or whatever? We, we have a couple different sets of plans. Tourism did a, a small feasibility four years ago, so we do have some drawings. Where is the one at the capital to approve the money to do? That has not been done yet. We just, you're talking about the... Uh, we approved 50000 Yes, sir. That, we just awarded that. Uh, and we're in the process of negotiating. That's going to take four months for them to do the complete feasibility uh, and design. So we just awarded that to Duncan Webb out of New York City. We had two, two companies uh, apply for that. So that'll be done in about, uh, they'll start working on it soon and have a completed project over four months. When will we uh, actually uh, take control of the insurance? I know they brought a rent from us now. Well, we currently, it's in our utilities, in our stuff. It is part of the city's insured. Um, so, depending on which direction we go, mm -hmm. we're, we've, Mujib and his staff are, are aware of what, what our needs are. So No, no, I'm talking about on the facts and insurance bill. Oh, we have that. Yeah, yeah we have when, that. When will we actually, uh, when will they move out? Well, well if, if we prove this, that's going to be down the road before you need to move yeah. in. They, you we have, we have a six, no nails yet. We have a six, six months notification for that. So we're collecting rent. We're collecting $500 a month yeah. rent from yeah, that. I was just, I was just curious. Yes, sir. Sounds good to me. So How's it, Anson? Excuse me. How's Anson doing? They're doing okay. I, I don't think they're... One of the things in our feasibility study is developing a theater that fits Monroe. So instead of building a Taj Mahal, something that would fit downtown Charlotte, we're going to build something that fits Monroe, and that's what Anson County's done. So it's doing well for Anson County, if that answers your question. So. How much money did they spend? I don't know. I honestly don't know right now. Sir. When you're talking about $3 billion in these other places, do you know which one, or you just... The, the, the Don Gibson Theater in Shelby was $3.4 to construct. And basically it was a theater and then an open... Uh, area next to it that was built. This was some years ago, though. Uh, it wasn't too, too. It was probably about six years ago. Six or eight years ago. But it, it was like ours. The, the theater part was vacant for almost 20 years, uh, and then a parcel next to it was open, and they just built that as the uh, uh, holding area. Okay. So we uh, put $3 million into it. What's, what are they going to do with that? What's that? Where's that going to? Well, we got to work out the logistics of that, but we would, I would recommend that we put that in some sort of capital project fund housed at the city, and we take that, and when we're applying for grants, and they say, well, how much money do you have in the bank? We've got three million in the bank. So we would house that money, and we would actually be the stewards of that moving forward with the construction. We would leverage it. Yes, sir. We would do our best. Leverage it against how much? As much as we could get, uh, if there's matching grants, if there's federal matching grants, if there's a if there's a large donor out there, or or a lot of smaller donors, they don't have to know that we have totally that much in the bank. We could say, hey, we're running a campaign where we'll match dollar for dollar what's donated, not knowing that we've already got that money kind of in the bank. Um, so it's it's still early on, but again, we're just going to explore all. Any and all possibilities. Are we going to uh, put up three million dollars? Um, <coughs> only if it ends up being a six or seven million dollar project, or are we going to put up three million dollars in, even if it only ends up being a uh, uh, three million and a quarter project. In other words, yes, if our if our three million ends up being what we are able to get, are we just going to put our three millions in and decide? That's, uh, I, don't I, don't I don't believe that's a, that's a, if we, any, we should be in it for the long run. I, honestly, Mr. Drew, I, I, I do well, believe that. Well, and, and, and the only reason I ask yes. is, um, is that it, it, it's easy to uh, to get into to projects like this. <coughs> um, 
And you know, if we're not going to get a commitment from from the community, uh, I just think we need to be very careful. And you know, and I don't know if we want to put um, some type of a timeline on this. You know, if we if we haven't been able to get, if our three million has not been able to attract uh, another three or four million dollars in five, six years, and I don't know what the time frame is for something like this. Uh, we may want to reconsider. Well, one of the things when we entered into the lease agreement with these individuals, we did put benchmarks in there. Uh, city manager pushed for that. So within the first one to three years, this group would run a capital campaign and have the money necessary. So if they don't have that money uh, raised, including whatever money we put in, then we could get out of it, look for a new company or a new group to, to partner with. Okay. Yeah, I'm talking about time. I'm talking about time on the floor, and I know we can't do this in 12 months. But I'm not willing to go. I'm not willing to go into this thing if it's going to be seven or eight years. We can't do this thing in some some lengthy, reasonable time period. Uh, we can draw this thing out if people give it two dollars a month. But we're going to put one in this thing like this. I'm looking for somebody to go in and go to work and get it done. Not work 30 days and come back in six months. And well, we're going to wire it next month. No, I want to go in there and we're going to fix it if, we, if we're going to do it. If it's a project we're going to do, we need to go in there and do it. I, I agree with Bobby. I want to see a fixed product. I don't see that started. Well, well, we've got to wait next week. We can't get that done. No, they're going to drag the feet. I don't want them to do it. Yes, sir. I understood. Yeah, this, this money should help us raise grants. And, and, and yeah, when we put time. money in, it's going to help other people want to get on board. I, I, I do agree. I think you. I think this, the, whatever money is put in, whether it's you know one million or four million, will serve as a catalyst to to spark additional donation and will really move the project forward. I think it'd be great for downtown area. I think it'd be great for the city to have. I think it'd bring folks in. Uh, and I don't disagree with it bringing in hotels and people downtown and restaurants and stuff like that. Uh, I'm sure it's going to do that. But now, if we're going to drag this thing out several years, uh, I ain't going to even start. It. If we're going to do it, let's do it. We're, we're going to do as much as we can that's within our control. If we have the $3 million and the project is $6 million, we're going to stay on these guys to raise that other $2 million to get this project done as best we can. And if, and if they're not doing what they need to do, then we'll find somebody else. Well, I mean, I mean my thinking is, and I, I hope I'm wrong, I think when we get our sunk in there, I, ain't nobody going to raise a whole lot of money. We're going to wind up having to raise it ourselves. That's just my opinion. I hope I'm wrong, but that's what's going to happen. So we can just, if we start it, we can just look back and we're probably going to have to finish it. But let's try to do it the other way, if we do it. Well, and that was the whole point in joining with this nonprofit organization. So we didn't have to bear the full burden of, of the dollars for the renovation. Right. I think it's going to be great for the city and it's going to be great for the Union County as a whole, even in industrial recruitment. Uh, it's, it's definitely a quality of life. Did they ever get the ribbon for that? Didn't they have that draw? Has that been come back yet? No, sir. That that that's going to be all part of the the feasibility. We we do have some we do have some basic stuff that was done a couple years ago, uh, but we don't have a, a modern day mock up with taking into account the theater and the adjacent building as part of the uh, reception area or, or pre event. I thought they were going to get somebody to do that. I know I just asked this a little bit ago, but I thought they was getting somebody to take care of that when we proved that money for it. it. It's in that money. It's it's in that feasibility uh, redevelopment plan. It will be included in that, but it will <coughs> the whole phase of that will take a couple months. Okay. Yes, sir. Would that be that sixty-two thousand that you showed on a previous frame? Yes, sir. That's what that money was. That, that's for that feasibility and redevelopment plan. Right. So and that will be closer to probably 70,000. So we'll put in 62 from tourism and the center theater folks will buy in and they'll put in 8,000 out of their kitty. Well, there's only one way to find out. If you're gonna do it, then you need to do it. It's only one way to find out. You can sit here and coulda, shoulda, woulda, or whatever, whatever they're gonna do. And we don't know what they're gonna do. Just do it and then see how, how it shakes out. It'd be out. pretty bad. Anson County could pull this off, and we could 
That's not quite on the Pretty bad. We're going to make that. Uh, you know, my, my only thought is this. Not my only thought, but my general thought about this. Is I don't have a problem with this property. I see it has importance for the downtown area. I agree with everything that you stated. <coughs> but it, it just sort of hits me as a little of having the cart before the horse here in that one. You haven't even spent the 62000 that we're going to do for design work. We don't have a feasibility study. We really don't know what this is even proposed to be, right. how much it would cost. We don't know anything. You're right. Yeah, I've never been one much to want to invest money into something that I didn't know what it was. <clears throat> now, this amount of money can go a long way, in my opinion, towards maybe more than one property. funds that we're talking about having here, whatever they end up being by the end of the fiscal year, and putting this money aside, you know, we've got some major initiatives and some real uh, issues within our city as far as the feasibility of what we have for our own public housing. They include police, they include fire, we have a Concord Avenue project out here that needs some money to get it off the feet, and we all voted to be proactive in that regard. And we also have this as well. I see that as four major objectives for us as a city. And put all my eggs in one basket doesn't seem to be the right way for us to go, especially no more than we know about this at this time. I, I, that's my feeling about it. I, uh, I think we've been discussing that for so many years we put a devil here, a devil there, and a devil here, and we never have anything to show for it. And if we're gonna do this project, the city of Monroe is gonna have to really show that they're on board and I mean, in order to get people to come in and want to match grants or give to the Senate Theater, the city is going to have to be a major, major player. And I, I really think from a quality of life standpoint, that right there will probably do as much for the whole community. You won't just find a few people. You'll find a lot that will start going downtown at night enjoying yourself. And, uh, if I have to, I'll make a motion that, that this project go with $3 million from the city. I'll second. I have a motion to second. Any other discussion? Well, question. <clears throat> I took guidance that y'all did at the uh, last meeting before, so we've, we've programmed that into the budget. Three, we've programmed three million for this. Okay. All right, motion to second. Any other discussion? Questions? If it's already programmed in, is it necessary to go I was actually going to ask Councilman Rukazai if he wished to withdraw the motion because You've already done that, the prior one programming in the budget. So it's in the budget. Okay. It is. That's, that's what the manager has, has said. Okay. So if, if you wish to withdraw it, sir, that sure. would be. No problem. Thank you. Well, if you withdraw it. The motion. It's already, it's already a done deal. It's already done. Oh, okay. You did it the prior one. Well, okay. We can move right along in that. done deal. Uh, before Pete um, leaves, I'd like for you um, to talk about the sign down on Skyway. I've asked about that. I've had a lot of people ask about the sign on Skyway. Either we fix it or we take it down. And so Pete, if yes, you would sir. address that, please. Uh, basically, you all know the, the community sign by the J.C. Field. Uh, we bought it in 2005 for about almost $60,000. Uh, we've had, since I've been here about eight years, we've had that difficulties with it on and off during rainstorms and wind, anything. Uh, in 2014, early 2014, it was struck by lightning, we think, and just totally fried the circuitry and, and everything inside it. It was beyond uh, repair. So we've actually looked at, uh, Brian and I have looked at either replacing the sign or tearing it down. To replace it, again, you're looking at probably $55,000 uh, for another sign. 
or a couple thousand dollars to tear it down, mm -hmm. possibly our guys can. Do we get any insurance money out of that? No, sir. It was beyond the uh, uh, amount like of years. It. I don't think it was uh, covered after that. I so we're taking that. In other words, it was already depreciated. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. I'm in the opinion we'll take it down, but we're up to the county. I would agree. I say we take well, it down. We do have one estimate of, of about $4,500 from an outside company to take it down. Uh, yeah. Brian and I can investigate to see if maybe our own guys could either take yeah. it down or. Why would it cost that much? I, I know, I, I know uh, it worked to be done. Yes, sir. Well, well if there's. I'll yeah. take it down for less than that. <laughs> I'll meet you out there with the sledgehammer. I'm serious. I mean, this, I mean to me, to me, it's well to take the mayor up on it. He'll take his little truck out there. You give me $2,500, I'll take it down. We'll explore it with our with our Parks and Rec staff and maybe <coughs> our, our utility folks with some trucks that could help us. Well, does it just sound like a lot to me or the rest of the group? It, it, it is a big sign and, and it is uh, some substantial footing, but again, that didn't include taking up the concrete footing. Uh, We'll we'll work to get it to get it down to a more reasonable price. So the liability too, it's right by the road. Yeah. And insurance. And all oh yeah, let's figure it out again. Yeah, we we have nine thousand dollars to get fourteen cars going well, out there in three days. That's <laughs> just the way it is, Mayor. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I'm gonna tell you what. I'll guarantee you, I'll get it tore down, or I'll tear it down with forty five hundred dollars. And y'all know that you just can't see it. <laughs> we we will work on getting it torn down for less than that. All right, do we need a motion or can we just say tear the sign down? I think, I think we have I think we've got clear direction. I think it would be fair to say you have to the manager direction. All right, let's turn the sign tear the down. Tear the sign down. Okay, I'm trying to save a little money. We can beat a dead horse, can't we? Yeah, I'm going to go Guarantee you I can get you a price for less than that. to go over a few of the things that we had questions on at the last meeting. Uh, one of the first questions was uh, about grants and all the grants that the city has. I did uh, distribute at your seat a listing of all of the grants that the city has issued. Uh, one specific question came up in relation to the body camera grant uh, for the police department. Uh, they did make a purchase this year of 60 cameras for $61,881. And of this amount, $21,040 is eligible for a reimbursement from a federal grant award through the Governor's Crime Commission. Now this was car cameras. This is body cameras. Body. Did they not say here that they said they had one or two body cameras? What? Is that not what they said in the three, two weeks ago? Mm -hmm. But now we get more. One or two well, is one enough. Right here they said they already got them. Did you say they had already purchased them? They issued a purchase order. It was in the current year budget, FY16. They'll be purchasing another 60 in the FY17 budget. And they will apply for another grant that would allow for partial reimbursement of those cameras as well. well. I, I thought they said they just had one. Maybe they said two, but one or two was all they said. There was, there was one. In other words, she can clarify, but how many do we have on hand now? Do what? She's just going to clarify. I'll clarify it for you. All right. It's going to be one purchase of 60 cameras. I understand that. I'm with you. I'm with you. That's, that's what we're going to do. We have about four cameras now. We're going to reallocate them to the Special Services Division within the department. So what Ms. Strickland's talking about now is actually you have $60,000. This contract was worked out with Taser. That's what we had in the money in the budget that you approved last year. Uh, we had $60,000. Almost a third of that's going to be covered in a grant, so you're going to have to pay about forty thousand dollars out of your pocket for a whole department to be outfitted with body cameras this year. I'm not fussed about that. I think it's a great deal, but yes, if sir. it proves that last year's budget, 
Yes, sir. Why are we waiting now? I mean, why we don't want to have them? Well, because several reasons, Mayor. One, we had to make sure we test once you approved the approved the money for us to spend and made that commitment to it. I wanted you to get you the best product on the yep. market that we could. So yep. we researched it. We let our officers try the cameras out. We let the officers use the cameras. We found the best bang for our buck because I knew I'd have to stand before you and answer it. And so when we did that, Taser Company was the best one that we had. Uh, in price negotiations with them, we waited. I also wanted to see what General Assembly was going to do for statues, how we're going to use body cameras. We had to create a policy. And so it took time to do that. Uh, we worked with the finance department to make sure we had all our I's dotted and T's crossed. And at the same time we were applying for this, I also knew I'd have to stand before you and know how we're going to pay for it. And so I got a grant. We owe about $40,000 and let's roll. So we're going to owe 64 cameras. We're going, yes, ma'am. We'll have 64 cameras. And the goal, Ms. Anthony, on that is to take every officer that's in uniform, has a marked police car or a traffic division, and they'll have body cameras. So, so everybody with people who are behind the desk or anything. Yes, ma'am. People like me. Very good. That's great. Now, I understand it. Thank you, Chief. You're welcome, Chief. Out of curiosity, yes, sir, Mr. Uh, in this uh, camera that you selected, yes, sir. The, and I know this is a relatively new thing, uh, but uh, <clears throat> what would be the life of this product? Well, I appreciate you asking that because we, what we did was when we negotiated in the lease agreement with them, every two years the cameras would be replaced. So we'll have the latest and greatest technology. It's a continuous process. So we're expecting some to get broken, some to get damaged. But every two years, we go with this contract and everything that's already been approved and signed, then we'll have the newest cameras on the market. So it's at least what kind of warranty do they come with? I'm sorry, I couldn't What kind of warranty do they come with? That's it. It comes, we, have, we bought the warranty. So that once it, if the camera's damaged, then they'll replace it. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. No, ma'am. That's not what cost us. It's already negotiated in the price of the contract. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So, Lisa, quick question. We had $75,000 for body cameras originally on the police department's budget, and that's not here. I mean, does that mean we need to add 40000 back to this budget? Uh, well, actually, no. No. We're good. What good. the actual You're price good. was, yes, sir, we had $61,000, uh, and we knew we did, I didn't have enough money to cover what the contract was going to be because we ran into a price expenditure more than what we were expecting for the data coverage and where the storage and the data was going to be managed. In consultation with Mr. Bounds, we realized that this is going to be a tremendous amount of data that we need to store, but how do we go about paying for it? So what we did uh, in our negotiations said, this is all the money we have up front this year. And then through the prices over the next few years, that's why we asked for 75000 So it's only going to be an increase of, of $13,000, dollars $14,000 over what you've already budgeted. Sure. No, that's great. I just want to make sure you get it. And yes, you don't have to come back to us and ask for more money later that it's a done deal that you got. Thank you. Good deal. Uh, any more questions on grants? Uh, the next uh, question that had come up was uh, evaluating the feasibility of natural gas powered vehicles. I uh, did uh, have a conversation with our energy services division and unless a vehicle is going to be driven more than 20,000 miles per year, uh, the savings for burning natural gas instead of gasoline uh, are really never going to cover the additional cost of the conversion to natural gas because you can't buy them as a natural gas right. vehicle. Um, really, the vehicles in our fleet don't get that much mileage on an annual basis. Okay. Uh, the next question uh, that had come up was looking at purchasing the Inquirer <coughs> Journal property and building. Uh, and staff has negotiated with the owners of that property and we have entered, entered into a purchase contract agreement um, pending council approval of moving forward to uh, secure a deal to, to close on that property. Um, Brian has more information if anybody needs it. Uh, the purchase price that was negotiated is $400,000. That's a steal. It's below the tax value. City Council, should this move it forward or would you like to? Uh, okay, you need a motion now to move that forward? No. I, I want to look at that building. I mean, y'all, I mean, go ahead and do what you want to do, but I, me personally, I want to go look at it. I want to I wanna look at it, see what it is, how large it is. What, what is proposed possible use for it? Well, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say it has $22,000 for it. Yeah, the, the discussion at the last meeting was a possible senior center. 
or um, public safety um, facility. Just for me, I'm going to look at it. Well, I think I think we should look at it as a council or as a committee or whatever they want to do. Set out what now that we got. If we got it, what we're going to do with it, and everybody be on the same page. I would want to buy it, and nobody get on the same page. What to, what the plan to do? I, th I think it's a good buy if you want to build it, but I think we need to know what we're going to do with it, and everybody agree to it before we jump off the cliff. I would personally. I was thinking uh, of, uh, public safety. Twenty-two thousand square feet. It's within a rock throw or city hall, which is a perfect location. If you go out and build that building from scratch, you won't get in nowhere like four hundred thousand dollars. It probably cost you two million or more, and put enough money in it to make it first class and then some inside. Now, if if you buy the building and the engineers and the architects decide that that's not the best location for that, then we've got all kind of uses at that kind of price. I mean, that, that's, that is a phenomenal price. Oh. What I'd like to see, but y'all can, how are y'all going to vote on this? Now, what I'd like to see, I'd like to go look at it. I don't know what I know after I look at it, but I'll, I'll feel better about what size it is, what it is, where it is, how much parking, how much space they got over there at that price. And then I think we can sit down and talk about what we want to do with this building and who we're going to move, what we're going to do, and see how it fits. And if it fits, I'll vote 3000 Brian, how, how soon could we, this is for Brian Horn. Mm -hmm. the mayor and I say we want to go look at it at 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, or any time this week, if we set a time that council could meet there to look at it, can we get in it? To I'd have it? to ask um, Dale Moorfield, the publisher there, Okay. Put it on. I'm sure I could make arrangements if that if that's what council would like to do. And put it on yeah. a put it on a four or five o'clock agenda until I hear what we want to do. Every day. You can walk through the front door anytime. I mean they're open, so I'm sure that if you ask for Dale Moorfield, he'll be more than glad to give you individual tours if you'd like to go about it that way. Mayor, you want to go tomorrow? Look at the building? Oh okay. have Check so it out. Let's, let's yeah. work out. We'll work out time. Okay. Let's I, work out a time. And I think. I think I could do. It. I haven't looked. We'll look, look at it. Uh, okay. The mayor will go after he takes the sign down down on Skyway. <laughs> yeah. Take the sign down on Skyway first. <laughs> but it's yeah. not just the. You look at the city money like you look at the city money like you do your checkbook. You wouldn't spend forty eight hundred dollars there and down fine down either. There's the building itself, but there's also three other parcels in which are uh, two parking lots. They it's all included. That. It's all included. And we already heard a whole lot more. <laughs> I, I think I, I'm all for hearing everything I can hear before we spend a dollar on anything. I'm all for that. I, uh, I think we need a planning session. To go, uh, anybody wants to look at it, look at it. I'll come back in the afternoon. And sit down and say, we can buy this building, and here's what we can do. We can do this, we can do this, and we can do that. And, uh, okay, great deal. Mayor, one thing is, that's if, me. You, say what if, if the council's intention is to do it as a group, we would have to either limit it to less than four, or if you do it as a group, we would have to list, list it as a meeting and notice it. Yeah. It depends well, on, it. So it depends on what you wish to do. So if you wish to do it as a group, or if you wish to do it in smaller groups, I would suggest that if you want to do it where it's a couple of members at a time who want to take a tour, I think the manager is <coughs> facilitating that through the publisher or the paper. It's whatever you would want to do, but again, once you get to the magic number of four. Well, there's probably anybody here wants to go with me. Anybody else? I want to go. I want to two. Anybody else want to go? I don't. You said it's 22,000 square feet. You have two just for parking. You're going to have to have a bad idea on my phone, right? Make the building anyway, so what you see is not going to be what's going to be. Okay, go ahead, Ben. Okay, no, I mean, you would, would you through? Huh? Was you through? Yes, I thought you'd make some kind of motion. No, 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 I, I, I'll, I'll appeal to the mayor. You and uh, Gary are going to go look at it. What do you think about putting it on an afternoon meeting? And let's find out and say, well, okay, if we buy this building, here's what we can do. 
and everybody say, oh, good idea, no, no, whatever. But what, is, what, what you're going to do anyway, let's assume that, that, that buy the bill. Yeah. Then you're going to end up with engineers and architects. Exactly. Oh, well, They're going to go that. through to make sure that that I mean, building finish the third grade. is suited for that purpose. Now, the question is, when you buy a building like that, are you getting a good deal? In other words, if you buy that building and it didn't fit that, would it fit something if else? If you don't need it, don't fit it, ain't a good deal, no matter what you buy. If you could buy if a you building. Got a bend, if you've got something for that building, it's a good deal. Good well, deal. what I'm saying is, I think we do. I, well, I agree. But till the engineer and architect comes in and confirms it, then, uh, uh, you know, you'll never know. I couldn't just go say, yeah, this is the greatest in the world, till somebody goes in there and knows more about it. Well, I mean, do you say get the architect and them look at it first and say yes, or just buy it and let them look at it then? Buy it and then let them look at it. And if they say it's not, it won't work for them. Yeah, you know, how many buildings are you going to find within a rock's throw of a city hall that's in that good of shape? Mm -hmm. With plenty of parking. And uh, I mean, you know, the thing about it, you, you, we can go spend $10 million on, 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 on a building yeah. right now. Yeah. Or we can, can think out of the box and maybe go spend $3 million and get just well, a little bit. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm not against buying a building if it'll work for our purposes. I know where you come from. But what I'm saying is to sell the package, why can't we come back in at some meeting and say, okay, if we buy this building, Here's what would be a good use for it. I would propose this, propose that, move this, and move that. And, and, and then say, oh, I, I could say that, oh, well, that sounds like a good deal to me, you know, if we could do that. But to buy a building, and I don't know who's going to go work. Well, I would surely, surely think it's an ideal location for folks. For some. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind saying that, because I, I think it's first class. I really do. Okay. If you put, if you put, go in there and gut that building, with all the parking we got and the proximity to City Hall, you can't beat it. Well, I'm not arguing it. Does uh, tell anybody else got anything to say to just me? <laughs> Mayor, I, uh, I'm, not in, I'm in favor of buying the building, I'm not in favor of using public safety. Okay. See, that, in that's the what I'm talking about when you sit down and say what we're going to use these buildings for. So it can be used for, it's a tight building, Bobby, it can be used for a lot of stuff. Okay. I can't tell you until somebody looks at it and knows more about it than I do if that is the, the perfect spot. You know, yeah. what, what is the acreage total, including the building, Brian? Give me a motion. What do you want? What kind of motion? Uh, motion. Well, we'll buy the building. No. <laughs> Let me see. We'll buy it. Mayor, Mayor, we'd advise it's right now you've got a purchase agreement out there, but you don't have, I think, any of the due diligence you probably want to do. Before you'd move forward, so we wouldn't. You got to do a motion. Uh, level one, Bobby. Which before you would, uh, of course, we can make a motion we purchase the building, contingent upon it passing level one uh, environmental inspection. Uh, I just think you ain't gonna find too many deals any better than that, especially with the motion. I'm gonna make a motion we purchase the building for four hundred thousand dollars, provided we get level one environmental inspection. And uh, I agree. I don't disagree with what Billy said. I don't. Maybe it's, it is a good location for that. Maybe it's not. But it's an awful good location for some. Well, what would be the provisions that you'd say? Because we want to make sure it's clear in the motion that it is a recommendation to purchase at four hundred thousand provided a level one environmental is performed, but what else, what, is there anything else because you, you, um, you have an uh, engineer to look at the uh, uh, roof and structural part, which would be probably uh, LB Hale or LB something, Smith. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's the two main things you'd want is a level one and an engineer to go over the roof and the whole Okay, so you got a motion and a second. Right? I have a second. I've got a motion. I okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. So they get to have a motion to have a second. Yes, you have. You have a second. Who's second? Oh, this is in here. I can't hear you. Motion and second. All. Uh, any other discussion? Hearing none. All in favor? Uh, we'll close. Honey, very good. Moving right along. Thank you. Right, moving along. Uh, 
your budget books have been distributed. Uh, that's the <coughs> document in the binder in front of you. Um, <coughs> from the discussion that we had two weeks ago, uh, we made three changes to uh, the budget book. Uh, we removed the Skyway Pedestrian Bridge project, uh, inserted the Center Theater project, um, and I wanted to show here what the net effect on fund balance uh, was going to be. Let me see if I can make that bigger. But the last page in your budget book is also a nice printout of all of the things that we funded from fund balance. Um, it'll leave a ending balance in the unassigned fund balance of a little over 1.8 million. And then we also increased formal assignments to uh, allocate some more funding for our streets and airport subsidies, um, leaves that balance at 3.6 million. Uh, the final change that we made was changing the tennis court <coughs> improvements for 60,000 uh, to shelter and grass improvements. It was gonna be the, the same cost, that 60,000 to do the shelter with some of the, the demo work that needed to be done out there. So we just basically changed the title on the, on the project name. And that was at where, Tanya? That was at Sutton, Sutton Park, sorry. Um, at the last meeting, we just glossed over the fee schedule changes rather quickly. Um, there's several fee schedule changes in the tab right before the fund balance tab. That whole section is, is the proposed changes. Um, kind of wanted to, to touch on most of them so that you're aware of you know, what we're changing and, and doing within the community. Um, we mentioned that at the Charlotte Monroe Exec Executive Airport, uh, we were changing the volume discounts. We're proposing a couple of new uh, lease rates. Uh, we're in instituting late penalties for our leaseholders if they don't pay their bills on time. In the electric division, um, we touched on those last time. We're just increasing, or changing rather, the renewable energy portfolio fees. Uh, those are pass-through fees that go to our provider, NCMPA. And we're also changing the renewable energy credit rider. Those are the fees that we actually charge for uh, solar panels. We have two customers with solar panels in the city. Uh, some of the other changes are in the parks and rec fees. I wanted to, I have a handout here. Sorry, I can't read it. Thank you. 
I have a motion to second. All in favor? Uh, we're going in closed session.